I am going to go over how to add dishwasher rinse aid to a different washer right here, okay? Right here I have a dishwasher, a different version of a Whirlpool dishwasher. And I'm gonna show you how to add this in there. But before we get started, could you uh, subscribe if you like my content? I'll appreciate it tremendously. All right, so let's get started. Right here I have some dishwasher rinse aid that I got from Target. All right, right here it says compare to finish jet dry okay those two products those are competitors right here i bought this because it's less expensive and it's supposed to work similarly similarly to finish and jet dry all right so i'm going to try this out so what i'm going to do now i'm just going to go ahead and add this to it into this dishwasher now the dishwasher adding rinse aid can be in various different locations but it's generally on the door right here as you can see i need to wash these dishes so don't mind all the crud and everything it says right here rinse aid improves drying and i can attest to that okay and as you can see right here it, it says full or in add there is none in here and so what i'm going to do is I am going to add, right here it says check with door fully open. All right, so the door is fully open for this particular dishwasher. All right, and they say that because in order to check to see how much is in there, it has to be level. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and unlock this. You see it's lined up here, here for lock. And so what I'm gonna do is unlock it by twisting it counterclockwise and pulling it up. All right, so now it's right here. And as you can see in here, this shows how much is dispensed every time uh, you do a wash. Right here, it's on three. I'm gonna put it down to two. All right, I think two will do it. But if you really, if your dishes are still coming out wet, you'll probably want it to do it closer to the max. If they're not coming out really wet, say you, for instance, you're in a dry climate, you might have to have it at one, and one should do the job. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and add this. All right, so I'm gonna open up the top of the rinse aid. Now when adding this, it can be kind of difficult because the rinse aid typically gets everywhere. So what I tend to do is I put my finger on the cap right here on the top with it open and then I hold it down right here and I'm just gonna pour it in here like this. I'm gonna squirt it, it comes out like that. You see that? And then it should start to fill up inside of this right here. You see it starting to fill up. I'm just gonna add all of it in there. I think I only have a little bit so and it, it filled it up to the top right there and then what I'm going to do next is I'm just going to go ahead and put this back into place and it's ready for the next wash I'm still going to load a few more dishes in here uh, but once I have it locked in place I just add my detergent and I wash it normally and the dishes will be thoroughly dried let me know if you have any questions Thanks a lot for watching.